Well, good evening, laddies, lasses, and lassos. Welcome to Click You. Smell astounding today. Wait a second. There is a smell that stands above the crowd. It's you, isn't it? Mike? Oh, yes, indeed, Mike. I can smell you above the crowd. Your aroma rises like smoke above the treetops, but like in a, be in a beautiful way. It's like a rainbow colored, fabulous smoke. Today, we are going to do something absolutely beautiful while smelling Mike. I'll give you a hint to what is up. That is right, we're gonna look at facepalm. It's a very fun subreddit that I think everyone enjoys. We just get to look at the insanity of the world and laugh at it together, because it does feel better when you laugh about it, right? Enjoy. Mwah. Answer, teenagers and teenage years. My 15-year-old son plays basketball, and he told me his coach gave him 15 push-ups for fooling around. How can I stop this coach from abusing him like this in the future? You know, lady, there are different levels of abuse, right? I think we can all agree on that. This is not one of them! <laughs> oh my god, he had to do push-ups in his sport thing. Wow, the abuse. <laughs> Oh, I am suffering! Breaking news! Little girl with slice of ham on her face receives over one million prayers on Facebook! I think I remember this one. It was like a really big thing a while ago. <laughs> it's so beautiful! One like equals one prayer! She has a horribly deformed face. We call her flesh face. And it just turns out to literally be that. It's just, <laughs> it's the ham! <laughs> I mean, they could have done a really good publicity stunt, though. After they get one million prayers, they're like, Oh my god, look, she's cured. Oh, what a, what a miracle. <laughs> Alright, we got ourselves a little poll here. Biggest planet in our solar system, and it's Jupiter, Mars, Mer Earth, 69%. 69, nice. Think that Earth is the biggest planet in the solar system. You know, you know, like, in the more traditional ways of seeing the solar system, when you say that stuff revolves around the Earth? It's outdated. It's not the biggest thing in the solar system. Stop! No! If you're an adult whose rent is less than 4,000 a month, you're still a child! Imagine being an adult paying 4k rent and not a mortgage. I mean, to be fair, the whole housing market is an absolute mess. But like, 4,000 a month shouldn't be a bragging right. It should be a sign that the whole rental system is broken. <laughs> what is this like super toxic thing? Oh my god, I pay $20,000 a month in rent. <laughs> Look at me, I am an example for today's youth. Huh? Spot the difference. <laughs> Look, here's North Korea, and here is England. I made a great point on Twitter. Readers added context they thought people might want to know. The difference is that citizens of the United Kingdom were not forced to attend a conoration, while citizens of North Korea are ordered to attend by neighborhood watch units with the threat of force if they don't comply. Yeah, I don't think it's the same. I don't think in, in, in England they have like, Oi there, matey! You better go out and watch the king, or I'm gonna knock your little brain! It's like, no. No, it's, it's not like that. Average school fight. Alright. Aww. Man, I feel this in my spine. Aw, Jesus. You got the leg up quite good, though, honestly. That's pretty flexible. I'm gonna give props for that. Something about white people speaking Spanish just doesn't sit right with me. You've whitewashed almost every culture. At some point, can you please just frick off? Who's gonna tell this fine gentleman that a Norman, like a lot of parts of the world, is to speak like multiple language? We literally learn Spanish in school, for God's sake. There are two distinct types of people that I have found absolutely fascinating, that both are like really out there, but they land in the same conclusion. One of the people is this kind of person who thinks that learning a second language is not at all like, you know, learning about the world and being respectful. It's like, oh, it's appropriation, it's bad. The other kind of person is the typical Walmart Karen who's like, oh my God, here we speak English. No other languages are allowed. Every other language is inferior. So like both of them land in the same conclusion that like white people should stick to English. But, but they would disagree on everything else. It's fascinating. It's just, it's just a circle. It's just a circle. I choose to believe this parody account to allow myself to just continue about my day. That is extremely wise on your part. Ah, my favorite conspiracy is that it's all aliens that have like hacked our social medias so they can see how far they can get away with outrageous stuff to like kind of probe our social norms. That's my favorite conspiracy. What is the dumbest thing you have ever heard? I drive for Uber on the weekends, and one time there was this girl who was in her late 20s and told me I was making her uncomfortable. I hadn't said a word the whole trip, so I asked how I could make the situation better. She said she didn't like how I kept playing with a fidget stick in the middle of my car. I drive a manual. She then told me that I didn't need to use that because her car didn't have that and claimed to be a mechanic. 
What a, have you never seen a manual car before? Are you actually kidding me? Oh my god, Courtney, did you see this fidget perv stick in Steve's car? Uh, you mean the literal gearbox? No, it's a perv stick! That's the only thing it could be. I'm a mechanic. Whenever you are feeling like a moron, just remember Kim Kardashian played poker with mirrored glasses. No. No, that is so bad. And you know, she probably put on the glasses as like a smart move. Like, haha, I'm gonna hide my poker face with these glasses. And didn't think they're actually mirrored. No. It's like when you just Uno reverse card yourself. That is amazing. So here is like an inspector inspecting claw machines to see if it's even possible to win the game. So here they're like trying to basically rig it and like they've opened the whole thing up and even when they try to like squeeze it into the claw hand it's not possible to win because it's so ridiculously rigged. Even when they open the machine to like properly stuff things into the claw you literally cannot win. <sighs> nice. What a beautiful photograph of white male privilege and entitlement. Some up rules our country. Readers added context they thought people might want to know. For 134 of the 200 years, the head of state of the United Kingdom has been a woman. <laughs> I love these little added context things that Twitter has nowadays. It just makes for such amazing facepalm moments of people trying to make these great freaking points about really silly things. Hey, jackass, we use miles per hour in this country. Wheels is an Australian magazine. We use metric measurements. You're on the internet, which is American. Therefore, you can use American the best measurements. Actually, the World Wide Web was first developed in CERN. I don't blame you for not knowing that. You're apparently an American. The internet, the, you know, WWW, the World Wide Web. That's, that's strictly American. What do you mean? Best measurement! God, I remember when I heard an American try to recite to me, like, okay, the imperial system is really easy. We have this memorial that's like, tome, toes, something, something. So this many thumbs, inches per, per feet. And it's like, just, it's just 10, 10, 10, 10. It's so much easier in the metric system. God, why? We use freedom hamburgers per eagle shotgun. It's the best system in the world. Okay, I know this cake is a number one and it says Emma, but it looks like a pee pee with balls that says weed. Look at this cake! <laughs> weed is. I can see the thought here, and the thought is super cute. It's like shaped like a number, and you have the teddy bears and stuff, but it's just so unfortunate. <laughs> I would love to go to a party where that's actually the intention of the cake. Here you go, Steve. Happy birthday. Have a weed penis cake. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, this looks fun. I love water parks. That is amazing. Wait, he can't. Ho hold on, he can't swim? Someone needs to fit- yeah, go boy- oh good. Good that there's a lifeguard handy, Jesus Christ. Why would you go to a water park if you can't swim? I mean, at least we're like, 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 you know, arm puffs or something. Like the self-preservation instinct just isn't there. Hey bro, wanna go to a water park? Yeah, sure, but I can't swim. I'm just gonna spontaneously sink as a rock when I jump into the first pool and hopefully someone fishes me out. Why would you do this? This, this sounds awful. Most elderly aren't afraid of the virus. They carry on like normal, unlike the younger generations afraid of the shadow. I used to have a dog that wasn't afraid of traffic. You see, just because you're scared of something doesn't mean that it's not actually dangerous. You know, there's a difference between objective reality and what we understand as a advanced society versus just, you know, your, your pure kind of, I don't know what you call it, instincts, I guess. There, there is a distinct gap there. I love my solar and electric car. Smartest thing ever. Uh, good luck charging your vehicle when there's no fossil fuel to run the power plants. I mean, actually, this is posted as a facepaw moment because it's like an electric car. But this is actually the case that, you know, there's still a lot of electricity, a significant portion of electricity being produced by, like, coal and natural gas. So they do have a point. Like, there is this point in general when it comes to environmental things that even if you have an electric car, it still matters where the electricity comes from. So uh, I'm not entirely sure who's intended to be the face palm here. It just seems like a silly argument, very out of context. Karen O. Oh, my mother sued our local China restaurant because they forgot... <laughs> Why do you call it chi Chinese restaurant? China? Okay. They forgot to put her extra chili powder in her food. Although my mother explicitly said she wants chili powder in her food. It didn't even get close. Is everyone in your family named Karen? 
Wait a second, you sued a restaurant. It's not even that you asked for money back or asked for them to just put some more spice on your meal. You know, it's a very easy fix. You went straight for the lawsuit. <laughs> oh no, how dare they forget the chili spice. I am going to sue you. Ah, isn't that just gorgeous? That's what the legal system was supposed to fix. The cruel injustices of the world, like a restaurant forgetting the spice on your food. No more, I say. No more. Is that my moose? <laughs> Wild it's not my moose! You idiot. You know, you know that your neighbors are stupid when you have to clarify that? Oh, it's not my moose. You don't tame moose, are you serious? I've never met in my life. Go ahead, touch it. Go ahead, try. No, don't ahead, mess try. with the moose. See what happens. It looks like a pretty young moose as well, so that might be like a quite angry young male looking to establish himself. So this, uh, this is not smart. Hard to see though, it's pretty dark, but... Are you like trying to tease your neighbor by like, oh, I'm gonna go kick this moose? It's not his moose. You're just messing with it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly. Get him! God, that's so stupid. Hey, neighbor, I'm gonna go mess with this wild animal that's like ten times my size. Oh, what's she gonna do about it? Like, it's not, it's not my moose. What do you do? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna mess with it. How do you like that? Ah, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh. Oh. There is actually this fun history lesson of a Swedish king who tried to tame moose back in the day because he thought it would look mighty as cavalry. You know, they're like horses, but taller, and they have the big horns and everything. Imagine like a mounted cavalry unit on moose with their big horns and everything. Mighty, right? Of course, turns out they can't really be tamed, so after X amount of soldiers were killed or had their like bones broken and stuff by moose, they kind of scrapped the idea. But uh, yeah, that was, <laughs> that was the thing that was attempted back in the day. Why don't they make bulletproof vests out of diamond if it's the hardest metal? Cause it's too heavy. One gram of diamond weighs something like 15 grams. One gram of diamond, but you already have like the amount of the unit in the previous sentence. One gram doesn't make more than another gram. Are you talking about density maybe? And the reason for this is that diamonds are very brittle and also when it comes to like bulletproof vest, it's about shock absorption and that kind of stuff. Having something super brittle doesn't absorb anything. That would be like having a glass, like a glass panel in front of your chest and you know, the bullet or something just goes straight through it once it's cracked the window, you know? It doesn't absorb the impact and spread it out in the same way, it's just brittle. Diamond though is really good for cutting things because when something is really hard like a substance, it's used for cutting things. You can try this yourself if you have, for example, a piece of aluminum and a piece of glass. You can actually scrape the aluminum with the glass, but not the other way around. That's because the glass is harder. But the glass is also more brittle. I think most people would assume that if you have a hammer made of glass and one made of aluminum, the glass one would shatter more easily if you smack it with a rock, where the aluminum would just be slightly deformed. So it's just like which material is good for different purposes uh, when it comes to designs. Okay, gnome here, Gurgrashli. Look at that. That's pretty freaking cool cosplay. Stop brownwashing anime. Twitter, you care way too much about things that don't matter. Stop. Breakfast house. Customer copy. Check. Blorp amount 29.87. 20 20% tip $11. 25% tip $13. 30% tip $16. Wait, that's not right. 30% tip $16. That'll be more than 50%. Are they trying to trick people into tipping 50%? by hoping people don't do the math. What the fr what? Is this real? Is this stuff that people actually do? As if like a 30% tip isn't outrageous enough as it is. <laughs> yeah, here's a 50% tip. <laughs> I swear to God, the whole American thing with like tipping culture and also payment and stuff for, for servers is so alien. I, I don't, I haven't gone to any other place where it, where it works like that. It's so weird. What is the dumbest thing you got in trouble for in school? I was accused of plagiarism by two professors and was given a big long talk about how seriously it was taken. I was confused and crying by the end. Then they show me the art they think I copied and it was my own art from my own site that had popped up in a Google image search shaking my head! That's like the most stupid thing ever. Why didn't they show it first? You had to put up with a half an hour of berating and be like, you're darn, darn cheating. Here's the thing you copied. It's like, but that's, that's me though. What do you mean? Oh, that's so sad. Plagiarism tools have always been a little bit uh, questionable, to say the least. They wouldn't let me in because I am in a suit. My name is Blorp. I am 18 years old and I've been attending Nashville school for 13 years. My senior prom was today and I wasn't allowed in the doors because I was wearing a suit. I should not have to conform to femininity to attend my senior prom. I will not compromise who I am to fit in a box. Who are you to tell us what it means to be a woman? They didn't let you in because you wear- That is absolutely ridiculous. Are you kidding me? 
I mean, I could see not letting someone in if they show up in something completely appropriate. You know, like a sweaty wife beater tank top, or I don't know, <laughs> some like smexy Halloween <laughs> banana costume. But, but you know, <laughs> a suit. Come on, it's very much in line with the coding ethic. I, I think we should be past this point at this point, right? It's like, wear, wear what you're comfortable with as long as it's in line with, like, you know, the formality of the party. This is absolutely ridiculous. Me asking to split the bill, knowing darn well if he agrees, I will never be seeing him again. It's on the house. Really? TikTok dating takes never cease to disappoint me. It's amazing. There are very few things in the world that can so consistently disappoint me, but this is definitely one of them. In 2002, a 19-year-old British garbage man won 10 million pounds, approximately 15 million freedom checkers, on the lottery. He spent it all on drugs, gambling, and prostitutes, and by eight years later was back at working as a garbage man again. This is actually a surprisingly common phenomenon when it comes to gambling. You don't have to look far to find like the horror stories of, for example, lottery winners, where they either spend so much money in very short amount of time, or they have people hounding them, coming after them, or they get into like big horrible arguments with family and stuff over money. It is kind of a curse. Like even if you're lucky enough to win, that can be a severe detriment on your life. Um, so, so I don't know. I don't like lotteries to begin with, but the fact that so many winners aren't even technically winners at the end of the day. I don't know, it's just, it's just sad. Uh, it just grows to show that uh, it's not, it's not perhaps such a great thing after all. A child just rang my doorbell. Folks, you do not ring doorbells in 2023. My six was loaded. Keep your kids away, Chris. So you're willing to shoot someone just because they rang your doorbell? Stand your ground isn't meant for that, and the way you're nearly threatening anyone, specifically kids, is disgusting, and why some people shouldn't have guns. I'm not freaking around. <laughs> Wait, so... So let me just ask a follow-up question. Why do you even have a doorbell? You know, for 99.9% .9 of the population, a doorbell means ring-a-ding-ding -ding if you want to connect with a person in the house. It's not like, oh, press this button if you want to get shot. <laughs> just remove the doorbell and, like, lock the gate around your yard if you're this sensitive about people knocking on your door. What the hell? Ringing someone doorbells means did you pew 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 pew. Stephen King. My Twitter account says I've subscribed to Twitter Blue. I haven't. My Twitter account says I've given a phone number. I haven't. Oh yeah, Twitter nowadays is uh, is kind of a wild west, isn't it? Every time I log into Twitter nowadays, there's like a 50-50 whether or not my ver verified notification feed exists or not. It's like every time you log into Twitter, there's some features that are just like a dice roll. Oh, let's see if this exists today. No? All right. Disney Junior UK. There is no freaking way. This isn't actually real, right? Someone freaking pinch me or something. Disney Junior actually verified a thousand followers? Wait, is this... This is not real, is it? Th this can't be real. Is this real? Twitter, I swear to- Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Keep the content coming, baby. This underground fridge keeps food cold without any electricity. So it's basically apocalypse proof. It's, uh, it's a cellar. You have invented a cellar. Yeah, that's what they used in the good old days, food cellars. That was that was a big thing for storing potatoes and stuff. Next week, they're gonna invent, like, I don't know, fire. <laughs> because it doesn't need electricity to run radiators. <laughs> How to keep your house warm instead of electricity. Fire! I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the idea of having a basement where you can store stuff that doesn't require active electricity. I mean, it's a good thing, but it's not particularly groundbreaking. Could you eat the olive oil? All this alcohol. Hold on. I haven't had any drugs. Am I sweating? Yeah, yeah. Rantalize you, mate. I don't do drugs. I believe you. I believe you. I'm against drugs. Rantalize you, Chris. But is it, isn't that a radio? It's a radio, you muppet. It's, it's not even a breathalyzer, you piss. <laughs> Breathe into this radio so we can check for drugs. I can't. I can't even tell who's high. Is it the officers or him, or just playing a prank? Oh, that's so good though. Parents demand this NJR teacher should be fired because her curves are a distraction. Oh, disgusting! She should just leave her butt at home. How dare she bring her butt to school? Young lady, leave your butt at home. What is that I want her to do? <laughs> I mean, either you leave your butt at home or you wear like I don't know the, the freaking freaking bed sheet. <laughs> Is that what they want? Go around like a ghost? Eighth grade teacher defends herself after getting fired for giving students zeros for not submitting homework. She refused to let her students off easy for not completing an assignment they were supposed to and was wrongfully punished for it in the end. A middle school teacher was promptly let go after she was told by school administrators that she failed to follow the school guidelines when it came to grading her students. What? You... 
of course, of course they get a zero if they haven't handed it in. What? What do you mean? I used to work at a school who refused to fail anyone. It was one of the best high schools in the nation list because it looks great on paper. In reality, half the kids read at less than a sixth grade level. My son's friend was failing his classes back in fifth grade. At a parent-teacher conference, the teacher told the parents and the kid that they don't fail. His mom was just like, hold him behind next year. Nope. Even if it turns in absolutely nothing, he'll still go to the next grade. Guess what happened? Kid didn't do any more work. Oh, that's so bad. This kind of stuff is just a strategy for padding statistics, basically. He doesn't have any kind of positive impact. Oh, gee, all our students technically pass just because we forcefully passed them on paper. They don't know anything. This isn't good for anyone. 2000, go to college or you'll be flipping burgers. 2008, what do you mean you can't find a job? Is flipping burgers too good for you? 2016, you want $15 an hour for flipping burgers? Millennials are so entitled. 2021, why does no one want to flip burgers anymore? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, <laughs> ah, it's true though. The closer you get, the slower I drive. Warning, do not touch my car. Back off. Bumper, humper, my brakes are good. How's your insurance? My brakes are awesome. Come closer, I will show you. Those are some very, like, cocky stickers. And of course they smashed into something that <laughs> so, Ah, how are your brakes? My brakes are amazing. Smashes straight into wall. Oh my god, like, sassy bumper stickers? I will never understand. Like, who are you trying to sass against? Random people in traffic? Why do you care? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Does this look like an appropriate father-son interaction to you? Parents, make sure your children understand that you love them, so they don't grow up to be like this person. What is- what is- what-, what how are they supposed to so show affection? What do you mean? It looks really cute. What are you talking about? Ah, oh, this is how- this is how they ruin the men- By- by showing affection to your family? That's- that's a beta move now? TA here, and we have to use this website to detect AI writing with students. So I decided to check the US Constitution and... Your text is AI slash GPT generated 92%! Imagine someone failing their class because of this reliable chat GPT detector. That is so bad. Can you imagine that? It reminds me of that art student getting railed for like drawing their own art. But with like an essay, how would you even prove this to anyone? That's the difficult thing. It's so hard to prove that you didn't do something because there's no evidence. Like how would you prove that you didn't use an AI to generate this? It's, it's impossible to prove the opposite. So if you have a garbage tool like this that insists that you've been cheating, you're basically screwed. It's like, how do you even defend yourself against this? You can't. Zero GPT is absolute dog poo at discerning between human and AI written text. I don't know if OP was using Zero GPT, but I suspect the results will be similar. These AI generated text detector software are definitely half baked despite the claims of 98% accuracy. I don't think they're 98% accuracy, Jesus Christ. TFW, your package comes in and your mom questions you about it and makes you open it in front of her and she sees that it's a swastika flag and patch. And she says she's never been more disappointed than you and she cries and you're just sitting there trying to tell her the truth about the world and the elite, but she won't listen and continues to cry. <laughs> Life is great. Oh gee, little edgy 15 year old that thinks Nazis are cool. Yeah, I can't imagine why your parents would be disappointed. What on earth? Oh my god, what kind of YouTube rabbit hole have you gone down? Please, no. I see this so much on YouTube and various online circles nowadays where the algorithm will just send you down a rabbit hole. And it's not because the algorithm is inherently evil. It does this with anything. For example, if you like watching baking videos, the algorithm will most likely send you down a rabbit hole of baking videos simply because that is what retains you as a viewer. And the algorithm's purpose is basically get you, get you to watch as much as possible so you stay on the platform and view as many ads as possible. It's just basic business, essentially. But of course, it has the side effects that if you get onto something that is like, I don't know, really like weirdly <laughs> Nazi leaning because of some gripe or something someone told you and you're young and impressionable and you watch one of those videos, it's likely that, you know, the algorithm is like, hey, this is how we keep them on the platform. Let's feed them another one. And all of a sudden, your entire homepage is just going to be channels that produce this exact content and you won't even know that there is an opposing side to it. So you just get funneled down this rabbit hole and locked in this bubble before you even know it. And it happens fast. It goes really fast. TikTok is even worse. So, I don't know. It's like the downside of the of the modern digitalized world. Some ideas really get funneled down into bubbles and rabbit holes and it's uh, it's kind of scary. <laughs> Mom catches son's girlfriend out with another guy. That is so embarrassing. No. Oh. I mean, it's 
It's quite well deserved, though, honestly, but... <sighs> Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? You're like, kid come home with their partner, you have like a family dinner with them, you get to know them and stuff, and like the next day you just see them like hooking up with some other random person in the mall. That is so embarrassing. Oh my god, no. No. Have some class, god. Hey, I was told you took a hundred dollars from my purse at work. <laughs> well, who the frick told you that? It doesn't matter, but if you did, I need it back. I ain't take poo from your purse, and it do matter because I want to know who heard it from, so why they're saying I did it. You on camera, and they're telling me to press charges. I just want my money back. Duh, uh, watch your cash app. And here's the camera footage of them literally <laughs> looking at the camera while doing it. I mean, why are you surprised? I've seen multiple videos like this online when people are like stealing something. It's like, oh, there is a camera. Oh, well, let's hope it didn't see me, even though it's looking directly at me. Like, what did you think is gonna happen? Like, why are you denying this? <laughs> ah, it's so silly. It's so silly. Fox News. Transgender female runner who beat 14,000 women at London Marathon offers to give medal back. Oh, gee, that sounds like a quite rage-baity title, doesn't it? Let's check out another title about the same thing. Bigots are raging because a trans woman ran in London Marathon. She came in 6,160th place. <laughs> you know, when you flip the whole thing, it doesn't sound as bad. Here's just, you know, a random person that ended up somewhere in the middle of a marathon placement with like 20,000 people. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, no. Oh, she beat this many women, and oh my god, this woman, who was 9,011th place, is so upset that she wasn't 9,010th place. Ah, oh, the real issues of the world. Careful there now, your bias is showing. Item slash department, blah blah blah, description, Lego cruise, refund, category destroy, reason, didn't want, need, like, comments, didn't know Legos came in pieces. You returned the wear getting sent to destruction <laughs> because you didn't know Lego comes in pieces. That is so sad. Like this just makes my like, oh my god, wastefulness of humanity and all that kind of stuff. It just makes, ah, makes my spine cringe. A Missouri lawmaker defended child marriage, saying kids he knows who got married at age 12 are still married. What, what do you mean kids you know at age 12 that got married. What are you two? Not, not, not in any country. What the frick? Republican Missouri State Senator speaks in capital blah blah blah. This, this is so freaking gross. And one thing I also don't like about this kind of stuff, even if they have some statistic that they're quoting, right? It doesn't mean that it's an accurate statistic because it's comparing contexts that aren't the same. If someone got married away when they were a child, they are most likely not in a position where they have full control of their life so they could get divorced even if they wanted to. It's not a comparable statistics and even suggesting it is, it's incredibly fucking gross. Borrowing a bar of someone's soap that's been in their bum. In their bum? Like, what? How are you guys no, using but soap it's like your being house? in and around your bum and your nethers. Oh, you know, around, around. I don't know about in. But like, when you're soaping yourself up, yeah. mm -hmm. do, you, do you, Ryan? You lather up your hands and then use your hands. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh no! Is that no, actually no. how you use a bar of soap? Is that how you not? <laughs> oh my god! What have you been doing? Oh my god! <laughs> You've been putting the soap. At... Don't make. Oh. oh I've been soap at your taking house. the bar into the areas that it needs to go. Are you supposed to just like flap it up in your hands Don't and then flap. and then scrub like this? Well, it would so you wouldn't lose it in any orifices. Oh my god. Lose it in any orb. I just imagine myself like, oh yeah, boy, I'm just gonna clean up myself and oh my god, my soap got stuck in my ear canal. <laughs> this is so funny though, to have like this kind of realization live. And they're really fun about it, I love this, it's such a good vibe. <laughs> a Bible store in Kansas really didn't understand the meaning of this quote. The best cure for Christianity is reading the Bible. <laughs> Still beyond me that Americans sometimes will act shocked that Middle Easterners can be Christians. Bro, it was Jesus of Nazareth, not Jesus of Nevada. Ah, you'd be surprised. You. <laughs> I know I've encountered that a few times in other videos and online and stuff where people have this like really wild things like, Oh yeah, Jesus was from Ohio. It's 
The <laughs> Saints, President 2024. These hats ripping off Disney's logo were sold during the Saints book tour, even last week in South Carolina. Time for us to attack Disney where they're the weakest copyrighted trademark. Yeah, because Disney totally isn't known for like tearing anything to shreds that dare touch their stuff. Oh, gee. Does anyone see the problem here? Well, my digital miles per hour is different from the other miles per hour. How do you fix it? You see, this one is miles per hour, shows like there in the middle, and this one shows 61 kilometers per hour. You know, the other miles per hour. How, how can they be different? I don't get it. The car's broken. I'm gonna return it. I actually came up with a Frankenstein creature independently before I knew about her one. <laughs> of course, you won't hear about it because as a white cis male, my voice will be drowned out. Did you come up with a Frankenstein monster before 1817? It is irrelevant because I came up with it independently. But sure, ignore that to suit your feminist narrative. What do you mean feminist narrative? You came up with an idea that was already done 200 years ago. <laughs> and you're like, oh, the only reason this isn't catching on is because I'm a white male on Twitter. The ultimate victim of all. It's totally not because, you know, the idea was literally done and it's an established classic. No, that's... <laughs> that can't be the reason. It must be gender and race. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lady carrying her baby. Uh, excuse me, that is my baby. But where is my baby? Oh, your baby went over here somewhere. There is your baby. Oh, they're like the same age. Wearing like the same hats and stuff. <laughs> I wonder if that has actually happened. You know, like a, like a genuine mix-up. That, you know, the baby is like, you know, two years old, but they're pretty much, you know, not, not twins, obviously. But, you know, they're doppelgangers, basically. And the parents just pick up the wrong baby. And the baby is like, you know, too young to really make sense. So he just kind of goes along with it. And you realize years later, oh, yeah, we exchanged babies in the grocery store 10 years ago. <laughs> is that a thing? Has that ever happened? <laughs> I know mix-ups can happen in hospitals, and that's part of the reason why you can do DNA testing and stuff, even for mothers, but, but like, th that would be something different, right? This would be a complete different league. Footballer Akroff's wife filed for divorce and demanded half of his property. She was, however, informed by court that her millionaire husband owns nothing, as all his properties register under his mother's names. Hakimi received 1 million from the PSG monthly, but 80% of it is deposited in his mother's Mrs. Fatima's account. He has no property, cars, houses, jewelry, or even clothes in his name. Anytime he wants anything, he asks his mother who buys it for him. Oh my god, that is some fine finessing. Oh my god. I'm gonna divorce you and take everything you own. Uh, 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 it's technically my mama's property. Too bad. Before I got off the plane at Munich, I asked the air steward if I could have a word with the pilot. He gave me a knowing smile and took me to the cockpit. Here's the conversation. I mean, they don't even do that nowadays. They keep the cockpit very locked, but all right. Me, <laughs> flowing over the distance we've flown at the speed we have flown at. As the pilot, you would have to dip the nose of the plane at regular intervals to allow for the curvature of the earth. Do you do that? No, is this a flatter thing? <laughs> No, please. Pilot. No, I don't. So you just fly straight? No, no dipping at all? Correct. So does this mean you're flying over a flat surface then? Yes. So there's no curvature? No, no curvature. So if there's no curvature, that means Earth is not a sphere? Correct. It is flat. Knowing smiles all around because the entire plane was listening into this conversation in a totally not locked cockpit that totally happened. And then everyone on the plane clapped. Ah. We knew it was flat all along, and I went to the cockpit with a conversation that totally happened. Oh! And then everyone on the plane clapped! True story, I was the plane. <laughs> Can confirm I was the flat earth. Has, has this person actually ever flown a plane? Like, anyone who flies regularly knows that the cockpits are very much locked up as safety procedures since, since quite a long time ago, right? It's... <laughs> What is this? Come on, it's not even believable. Elizabeth Holmes' purchase of a one-way flight to Mexico was a bold move, Judge says in ruling that denied her request to remain free on bail. <laughs> I would imagine you wouldn't be free on bail after they find out you try to get out of the country. That's like, uh, ooh, not very smart. At Pink, I stopped listening to your music when I found that you were a Lebanese. God wanted man with a woman. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> You're so spiteful and full of hate, but you can't even spell the thing you hate properly. Oh, that is amazing. That just like sums up so much of this bogus. 
Mwah, beautifully. Thank you very much, little Ursula. I couldn't have presented it more beautifully myself. Fox News! Could aliens have killed these cows? Is this actually a real news segment at this point? <laughs> Some cows died. Aliens! Or maybe it's the femboys. It's one of the two. Oh, that's a nasty thing called... Oh my god. It's actively becoming bigger for every single car that passes. That is scary. Yeah, that car sees it. That's good. That's good. All right, let's wait for the other car to pass. Just take it easy. No reason to, like, rip up your entire undergarment of your car. Just, just, yeah, just slide by as soon as you can. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Let's roll smoothly, boy. No need to risk it. It is not worth it. Just, yeah, there we go. Smoothly. And the car behind you obviously see that, so they're going to avoid it as well, which is very good. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> A little bit of sinkhole never stopped me. I'm gonna go straight over it in my freedom wagon. Yeehaw! Well, laddies, lasses, and lads, I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed having you here, you wonderful and beautiful bean. And I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah. Yeah!